Hello, Senior Stoner fans. This is the real Senior Stoner back at you. Today is Tuesday. This is your dab of the dual dab of the day. Today with our Puff Go Peak and our Card E-Rig. But before we have our dabs, let's talk about today's topic. Unfortunately, it's going to be a continuation of yesterday's topic. The horrors of the pain I'm in, but the realities of having to push through. Now, this is important. Mrs. Stoner's working today. I'm here alone. I'm pushing through to go see my therapist because he will help me. I cannot get an appointment soon enough at the doctor. They're booked. The surgical center is booked. I have an emergency call into the doctor to see if I can't get in maybe Friday to the hospital for an outpatient. Or else I don't know when I'm going to get in to get this procedure. And I don't want the procedure. This is not senior stoner saying, oh, well, hey, how are you today? I'd love this injection. This is not what I'm asking for. This is the only relief I believe that will help me have some normalcy. This is really taken over in the last four or five days. You, when you see these things happen, you must deal with them. So positive affirmation that we spoke about are very important. So is positive action. You can talk about things, but you got to do things. So by me calling the doctor and trying to get in, by me talking about sugar is not the big deal. My sugar being here with me is the big deal. She doesn't leave my side. Mrs. Stoner wouldn't leave my side this whole weekend. She didn't want to go to work today because she was worried about me. So that's very important that you have people and family that care about you. My son called us twice yesterday. I can't count on one hand the times I remember him calling twice. And unfortunately, it was to see if I'm alive type of thing. Well... Those are reasons to push through. I missed my daughter's barbecue. I couldn't be a judge at this incredible underground weed thing in New Jersey called the Battle of the Buds. They wanted the real senior stoner to be a judge. And I couldn't do it. What you have to do when you're met by these obstacles, this level of obstacle, is you really need to rethink the priorities. And it's not your reflex priorities. Normally I would have gone to the park and back for the last four days. I couldn't do it. I can't do it. End of the block. Hobbling. And I probably shouldn't have done that. Mrs. Stoner's a thousand percent right. So this is a screwed up head that isn't letting the body necessarily get as well as it can be. This body belongs in a zero gravity adjustable bed upstairs in either my son's room or on the select comfort we have in our bedroom. Period. Even on the sofa, which is very comfortable and moves. Okay, and specifically got so I could sit in it comfortably. The pain is relentless. And when you have relentless pain like this, you know what? It's not you. You haven't done anything. This is not something I did to myself or I invited on myself. So when I talk about positive affirmations, you know what? There's a lot of sense to that. Because even though you're in a world of shit, you want to talk positive and think positive. So you know what? The world is not all shit. That's the truth, okay? Just because you hurt in your lower back and other parts of your body doesn't mean you're not okay. Don't feel guilty about it. You didn't do it, okay? Not like you're out throwing a Frisbee and hurt yourself. You weren't out playing golf when you shouldn't have been. This is not that, okay? This is a totally spontaneous thing that happened and... I've got the call out to the doctor. I'm going to get it into the queue, and I'll get it taken care of. I have to be strong now for the next week or however long it takes until I can get into the doctor's office and have this, into the surgical center and have this done. And if it recedes and relents by then, I'll be happy to be the one to cancel. But a pinch nerve normally does not, um, and it could be that, frankly, my denervation has worn off, and the nerves grew back. We don't know what it is. And it's probably going to have to be treated the same way, invasively. But unfortunately, I don't know what's causing it. I just know the pain is there. Let's have our first dab and try to stay positive. The positive is that I'm going to get it taken care of. And that somebody's going to help me. And I'm not without medical help. And I have people who love me. And a family that loves me. Cheers. Oh, did I mention great weed? For some reason, great weed 
isn't hitting the threshold of, oh, wow, she, you're stoner, you're how lucky you are. <coughs> but I should not take great weed for granted. Great weed can really help you take the edge off and help distract you. And when you're in the kind of pain I'm in, you all know what I'm talking about. You have to do that. You have to dilute the pain that's coming from here up to here somehow. And you know what? Tools like this really help. So let's take our second dab with our Puffco Peak and try to put a blanket on top of this situation. At least the see-through blanket. Cheers. One of the most important things that I found in dealing with pain, especially the pain like this that comes and will not go away, is you can't think you're the same as you were. We look the same. We sound the same. If people didn't know us, they wouldn't even know anything's wrong with us. <coughs> Takes us back to the invisible illness concept. Those of us who live in invisible pain, chronic, intractable, invisible pain. When we look in the mirror, when we look at a selfie camera, we look okay. But we have to remember not to go overboard and do physical things like we would be normal. You must ratchet it down. You must control yourself in this situation. That's very important, okay? This is The Real Senior Stoner. Hope you enjoyed the dual dab of the day. And understand that this is not me alone. There are hundreds of thousands of people out there like me right now. And hopefully this gets to a couple of them and helps them have a better attitude. The Real Senior Stoner saying, have a great day out there, everybody. Stay strong. Try to keep the positive feelings flowing and try to put a blanket on that pain. Cheers, everybody.